the pros and cons of living in Staten Island. Today, we're gonna dive into one of the city's most unique boroughs. Being born and raised in Staten Island, I'm going to provide you with an unbiased, honest look at the pros and cons of living there. So whether you're considering a move to Staten Island or just curious about what it has to offer, this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos about finding your dream home in Staten Island. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you find it helpful and leave comments below with your questions or your own experiences about living in Staten Island. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> with a pro. One of the biggest pros of living in Staten Island is its affordability and housing options. Compared to the other New York City boroughs, Staten Island offers a lower cost of living, which is especially evident in the housing market. To give you an idea, the medium home price in Staten Island is around 582,000 at this current time, while in Brooklyn it's closer to 900,000. This makes Staten Island way more budget friendly option for those looking to buy a home in the city. Also, the variety of housing options here caters to different preferences and budgets. You'll find everything here from single family homes, townhouses, condos, apartments, two family homes, luxury homes. What does that mean? means you're looking for a cozy starter home or a spacious family residence, you're most likely to find something that fits your budget and needs here in Staten Island. Let's jump into a con, limited transportation and traffic. So because of Staten Island's limited transportation options compared to all the other boroughs, often leads to more cars on the road, which leads to an extensive amount of traffic. However, let's not forget about the iconic Staten Island Ferry. It is free and it connects you from Staten Island to Manhattan and runs 24 seven. Staten Island does have a bus network and a single railway line, but they might be less convenient for some residents depending on their location and travel needs. There are two kinds of buses in Staten Island, a local and an express. The express does go into Brooklyn and the city and the local is local. <laughs> the, the railroad, the train station is only Staten Island though. It doesn't leave the islands. But plot twist, there are potential future improvements in the works, such as the North North Shore Light Rail proposal, if approved and implemented, this project could significantly improve the public transportation within Staten Island and create better connections to other parts of New York City. The North Shore Rail Light would provide much needed transportation alternatives connecting residents to key destinations within Staten Island and potentially even neighborhoods in that's exciting. So while Staten Island's current public transportation options might be limited, there are promising developments on the horizon that could make getting around even more easier and convenient for residents in the Staten Island area. Let's jump back into a pro. One of Staten Island's greatest assets is its access to nature and parks. Often referred to as the greenest borough in New York, of New York City, <laughs> Staten Island boasts over 12,000 acres of parkland providing a breath of fresh air for all of its residents. And one of the most well-known green spaces is the Green Belt, a 2,800 acre of networks of parks and natural areas with miles and miles of hiking trails, wildlife, viewing opportunities, serene spots for relaxation. The Green Belt offers a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday city life. Another beautiful destination is the Conference House Park. This park is located at the southern tip of Staten Island. With its rich history, this park is the home to the Conference House, a national historic landmark. It offers stunning waterfront views, walking trails, peaceful atmosphere for all its visitors to enjoy. And let's not forget Fresh Kills Park, once the world's largest landfill, it's being transformed into a massive 2,200 acre park. Upon completion, it will offer various recreational activities such as kayaking, bird watching, sports fields, making it an exciting destination for all our outdoor enthusiasts. It's going to be opening up in phases and set to be completed by 2036. With having access to all these beautiful green spaces, Staten Island provides a unique and quieter living experience compared to other parts of New York City. It's a perfect place for those who love nature and want to maintain an active outdoor lifestyle while still living within the city. So if you're looking for a place to call home that combines the excitement of the city living with easy access to nature and recreational activities, Staten Island might just be the perfect fit for you. Now let's discuss a potential con of living in Staten Island. Limited nightlife and entertainment options. Staten Island is known for its quieter, more laid back atmosphere compared to Manhattan and Brooklyn. 
happen. This means that you might not find as many bars, clubs, late night entertainment venues here. However, this does not mean that there's nothing to do in Staten Island. In fact, in the borough, it's home to many hidden gems, including local restaurants, breweries, cultural events that cater to a wide range of interests. So while Staten Island's nightlife scene may not be as bustling as other parts of New York City, the more relaxed vibe can actually be a positive thing for many people. The quieter environment is perfect for those who prefer a more laid back lifestyle and want to escape the hustle and bustle of the city after a long day of work. I know I said it's hustle and bustle. I love that line. <laughs> Plus, if you're willing to explore, you'll discover that Staten Island has a lot to offer from the art galleries and museums to the community events and outdoor activities. And of course, if you ever crave a night out in the city, Manhattan and Brooklyn are just a ferry ride or a short drive away. So while the nightlife in Staten Island might not be as vibrant as the other boroughs, it offers its own unique charm and attractions, making it a great place to call home. Another major pro of living in Staten Island is the strong sense of community and family-friendly atmosphere that you'll find when living here. This borough is known for its tight-knit neighborhoods where people truly care about each other and come together to support local businesses and events. Staten Island offers numerous family-friendly activities, parks, and playgrounds that make it a great place to raise a family. And with excellent school systems and safe neighborhoods, parents can feel confident that their children are growing up in a nurturing environment. And additionally, Staten Island also hosts a variety of community events throughout the whole year, such as street fairs, farmers markets, cultural events. The Greek festival is one of my favorites. <laughs> That's probably because I'm Greek and I love their food. But in any way, they foster a strong sense of belonging and pride, and you just see the whole everybody comes together and it's absolutely amazing. In Staten Island, it's also not uncommon to know your neighbors basically on your whole block. Growing up, I lived on the same street my whole life and I knew just about every person on that block. Some of them so close that they'd be coming to family parties and events and it was just awesome. And by supporting your local businesses, attending all the community events that they have going on, you'll quickly be able to get to know all your neighbors and you'll feel like you're part of the community. So even moving to Staten Island, not knowing anybody, just join your local volunteer place or go to the first festival and you'll get to meet so many great people. So with that being said, if you're looking for a place to call home with a strong sense of community and family-friendly atmosphere, atmosphere and a more personal touch rather than other parts of the city, Staten Island is definitely worth considering. Last but not least, another potential con to consider when living in Staten Island is the commute time to Manhattan. The Staten Island Ferry takes about 25 minutes going one way. That's not including wait times and travel times to the terminal, which can make for a longer commute than some residents might prefer. Express buses are another option for commuting to Manhattan, but they can be also subject to traffic and longer travel times depending on the time, day, and route of your commute. But on a positive note, there are ways to make the most of your commute time and even turn it into an enjoyable part of your day. For example, the Staten Island Ferry offers free Wi-Fi, allowing you to catch up on emails, browse the web, or stream your favorite shows during your ride. You could also use your commute time to relax, read, or listen to a podcast. This can be a great opportunity to unwind or learn something new while you're on your way to work or home. So although the commute time from Staten Island to Manhattan is a bit longer compared to the other boroughs, it's still possible to make the most of that time and turn it into a positive part of your daily routine. So there you have it, an honest look at all the pros and cons of living in Staten Island, New York. If you or somebody you know is planning on making a move to Staten Island, please share this video with them. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for all things living in Staten Island. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!